In this video, I'm going to be telling you how I passed the CompTIA Security Plus exam in less than 30 days. The first resource I used was the all-in-one CompTIA Security Plus book. I was able to finish this book in two weeks after reading about two hours each day. The reason I chose this book is because the chapters are mapped out in a way that matches the exam objectives. And before I actually read the book, I kept a note of the exam objectives. That way it made it easier to take notes. The one thing I like about books over other study material is that they generally give more in-depth definitions over certain terms with great examples. But the one big con when it comes to books is that sometimes they can contain so much information that it can make it difficult to know what you actually need to study. So my biggest advice to anyone who plans to use a book is making sure that you have a copy of the exam objectives. That way you know exactly what you need to take notes on. The next resource I used was Professor Messer's YouTube videos. At this point, when it comes to most of CompTIA certifications, Professor Messer's videos is a must. For the topics I really had trouble understanding, his videos really made it clear on how everything worked. There were plenty of times throughout this process where I didn't understand certain topics just by using the book, but after watching his videos and seeing his examples, it really made it click for me. If you do plan on getting any kind of certification from CompTIA, be sure to check out his channel. The next resource I used was Jason Dion's practice exams from Udemy. Now, when it comes to the practice questions in this course, in my opinion, some of these questions are way outside of the scope of the Security Plus exam. There were plenty of times when I looked at these questions and it just didn't make any sense because it had nothing to do with CompTIA at all. But the course comes with four different tests that are about 90 questions long. So when I went through these tests for the first time after finishing the book and Professor Mess's videos, I was averaging about 50 and 60% throughout the entire course but in order to pass the test you need to score above a 90 percent so for each question i got wrong i just studied the topic and retook the test until i got above a 90 percent so the last resource i used was practice test on youtube in my opinion you should take as many practice tests as possible that way you can just get an understanding of how certain questions may be worded and after taking the exam in my opinion the questions from youtube was more accurate than the ones from jason dion's course but i'm not saying you shouldn't try jason dion's course at all any resource that you can find you should make the most out of it but that's pretty much it for this video if you plan on getting any kind of comp to your certification let me know down in the comments and i'll catch you in the next video